Hi everyone, I'm Cocktail Christy and I'm here to talk about a fun new cocktail just for the end of summer. I wanted to do something with gin, as you know I'm a gin girl, but I also wanted to make it a little bit different. So I'm using the Botanist Gin, Saint Germain, passion fruit from real um, puree, and Mastro Mixes lemon juice. So, yeah, and an egg white, my favorite. So. What I'm gonna do is always with an egg white cocktail, you do the dry shake. So I'm gonna put all the ingredients in my mixing tin. So I'm gonna use two ounces of the botanist. Great gin. I'll put you up there. You stay up there. Three fourths of an ounce of Saint Germain. Elderflower liqueur is something that's always interesting in a cocktail. Just adds another layer of flavor. So there you are, St. Germain. And then we're going to do one ounce each of the lemon juice. Woo! And one ounce of the passion fruit puree. These just make my life so much easier as I used to have to extract these juices once upon a time. So then we're going to do our egg white. So just want to be a little bit careful. Don't want to get any yolk in there. Half ounce is pretty much what you're looking for. And sometimes it's a little slower than others. And that's about a half ounce. So then we're gonna take our mixing tin and do a really good dry shake. This is where you get all the foam is from the egg white, but you also obviously wanna break it up. You don't wanna get big globs in your cocktail. So, ooh, yeah, always with an egg white cocktail. Doing the dry shake, you get a little pushback of this. You can almost feel it fighting against you. You just gotta beat them up. So, now that my cocktail's nice and foamy, I'm gonna add my ice and do my dry shake, or wet shake, sorry. And again, just because it's an egg white cocktail, I always, do a little more mixing than is maybe necessary, but better to be safe than sorry. I'll beat you up. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so because this is such a floral cocktail, I use a little lavender from my garden and pour that right in there. And that is a lavender bloom. Enjoy.